January 15th, 1947. It was, was, you know, about the time kids were going off to school, riding their bicycles and whatever. And I had to go by this um, cloth that was undeveloped. Betty Bersinger was pushing her young child in a stroller on her way to market in the morning hours of that fateful day. Little did she know, she was moments away from playing a key role in Hollywood's most notorious unsolved murder. This is her recollection of that morning, as told to filmmaker Kyle Wood in 1996. And uh, as I was walking along, I glanced, tapped the glass over at my side, and I saw this uh, uh, strange sight. It looked like a, uh, it looked like a mannequin that had been cut in half and was separated and was lying there. And I didn't glance at it too long because I had my little girl with me, and I thought. Gosh, as I walked on for it, I thought, you know, that just didn't seem right to me. And I thought, these, I could see these kids with their bicycles. And I said, maybe it'll scare those kids if they ride to school and see this. So I better, uh, uh, you know, call somebody to come and at least have a look and see what it is. But I, the, the thought of a, a dead person did not enter my mind. I thought it was a mannequin because it was so white. I stopped at one house uh, when I crossed, uh, I got through the block and got to the next block. There were homes built on that block. I went to the first home and there was nobody there. So then I went, I think I went to the next house. I rang the doorbell and a woman came to the door and I told her, I said, you know, I said, I saw something strange up the street and I said, I just think I ought to call somebody and have them come and look at it, you know. The further I walked away from them, the further I thought, well, gee, I wonder if it could be something, you know, more than just a mannequin. It just didn't seem to me that that made much sense. <laughs> so anyhow, I thought I better call and tell the police and at least have them come out and check it. And so um, she said, well, yes, use the phone. So I called them and I had somebody answered from the police station and I told them what had happened, that I'd seen this. And uh, I said, I thought somebody ought to come out, you know, and check it out. And they said, fine, they would, and I hung up. 